feeling really defeated. Um, and again, it's like I'm so happy for her, but it's like, God, why couldn't that be me? So, um, I'm gonna go finish shooting her reception, um, but. Yo, what's going on, everybody? What's going on? Man, what's happening? What's going on? I know y'all probably seen this. If you hadn't, I'm going to let you see this. This is what really happens at weddings. Um, this is funny. So the young lady uh, goes to a, well, she's the camera girl for her friend's wedding. And she can't take it. She can't take it that her friend get married and she's not. But the question is why? So let's check this out. And uh, let's find out what the hell's going on. So before we do it, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe, like, and notification. And let's get this thing popping, man, because this is something exciting. You ladies, y'all funny as hell, man. Watch this. Hey guys, um, so I have been spending the day taking photos for a friend of mine's wedding. I took their engagement photos at a beach about a year and a half ago, and now it's time for their wedding. And the honest to God truth is that I'm having a really hard time being here. Um, she has a son, I think he's three or four, um, and she's getting married to her son's dad. And I didn't think it was going to be really hard for me um, until the vows. Now, you're thinking what I'm thinking. She may have a crush on the guy and, you know, your best friend's man, your best friend's baby daddy. And you can't comprehend why the hell you get married to her and not me. But that's not it. Check it out. And, um, you know, it's like one of those moments again where it hits you that you're really a single parent and that your kid's parent decided um, that you weren't good enough and so they decided to leave. Um, and their ceremony was beautiful. Like, I... He cried, she cried. There was not one dry eye in the entire church. And one of the things that she said during her vows was, and this is not verbatim, but she said, one of the first promises, and maybe it was the first promise you ever made me, was to always be here for me and our son. And ever since you made that promise, every promise since has been kept. And I just lost it behind the camera. <laughs> now, ladies. I know people that go to a lot of weddings. They're single moms. Um, some just single women. You're the bridemaids and all this other stuff. And some, a lot of you are, are real weird at your friend's weddings. Like the wedding party. Um... Y'all get real jealous. I've seen women get mad at the bride's choice of dress. Uh, the choice of dress she wants the bride mage to wear. I've seen women fall out over that one. You know, like best friends just... Psh. Um, even who they're going to walk down the aisle with. Like some, you, you know, like some will have them walk down with a guy. There's some women don't want to walk by certain guys, don't want to walk with guys. They want to walk by themselves because they want everybody to see them. Like, the shit is not even about you. So, but what, what the fuck you doing? But, y'all do some weird shit at weddings. Y'all always go, but you're not always happy for the person. Something weird, man. What's going on with that? I lost it because I wish that that was me. See, there it is. I want your life. And probably her man. And as happy as I am for her, it's really hard for me. 
and when he started reciting his vows, talking about how much he can't even find the words to explain how much he loves her and just how he'd never ever give up on her and how he just thanked her and apologized for places where he was at fault really crushed me. And it just always leads me back to this feeling of... I didn't understand that part. Why, why, why would you be upset about what he said about that? You chose a Pookie and Ray Ray type dude to have your kids by. She chose pretty much an upstanding guy. And he stood by his promise. Uh, I'm feeling really defeated. Um, and again, it's like I'm so happy for her, but it's like, God, why couldn't that be me? So um, I'm going to go finish shooting her reception, um, but. Now, did y'all catch that? I always say anybody that use but after they say something, they don't really mean it. But she was like, I'm really happy for her. But I wish it was me. And you're just a photographer. And you wish her life was yours. And see, that's some real shit there to think. Now maybe she know the lady like that and might you know they might have a pretty good life and moving into some nice house and drive a nice car, you know, the dude might have a little something. Cause she said her guy dipped on her. But ladies, that's where, you know, we always talk about protect yourself. I say it all the time, ladies, I know you don't like birth control, but get on birth control. There's like a hundred different types out here. Find one that work, but get on some birth control. Because if not, you stand a chance of getting pregnant by a random Pookie and Ray Ray. Or, or stop fucking in Pookie and Ray Ray, so, but you still can get pregnant by somebody who got a fucking million dollars and he don't want to keep you. Be careful what you're doing. I, I mean, I don't know what to say. This is so weird. That she actually did a video about this knowing this is going to get back to the woman. Who has not sent this to the wife? So she knew what she was doing. She's sending a direct message to someone. I'm thinking it's the damn dude. I think she know this dude. I think she may have had a little time with this dude. And now this dude is marrying this girl. And they may be friends and she's probably fucking around with her friend's man. See, I'm looking a little deep into it because you just don't have these type of feelings at a wedding when you are a photographer. So you go to weddings taking pictures. Why this wedding? Huh? Why this one? The dude. Just fucking the dude. Nobody looked at that. Everybody just looked at her emotion, but nobody thought about it. She's fucking a dude. Because she said, as soon as he said these vows, I just lost it. And I wish that was me. I tell you, y'all better stop having these smokes around your dudes. She wants your life. And she sent a message telling him that and telling you she's coming for your dude. All right, guys, well, I'm up out of here. Let me hear what you think about this shit. That's my analysis, and I'm going to stand with it. And uh, you guys let me know what you think. Hit me up, you know, chat it up in the comments. And, uh, and I'm going to get up out of here. But don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, and notification and catch the next videos coming through. Like I said, it's not always about you, but it is about somebody. And I am Mr. Nobody, JP, in the vibe. And I'm up out of here. Y'all take care. Peace.